Hello internet people and welcome to another episode of Sew Vlogtober where I'm sewing for an hour a day and bringing you along for the journey. So unfortunately there will be no sewing today. I have sewn for an hour but that will be in a different video. Today I'm going to show you my fall fabric haul from Style Maker Fabrics. So who is ready to see some pretty fabric? So it seems to have become kind of a tradition in the last couple years that I buy a little selection of fabric from Style Maker whenever they release their fall fabric collection. If you don't know, every fall and spring, Style Maker comes out with a new collection of fabrics. Um, they're seasonal, they all kind of go together in some way or another and they're just really inspiring to me like like they do such a good job at choosing fabrics for the season and it kind of like creates this visually inspiring collection when they all kind of coordinate and look good together and um, there's different textures and seasonal prints and I just love how they do it every year. Um, Lindsay from Inside the Hem she does uh, a swatch video twice a year for the fall and the spring um, collections and she shows all of the swatches for the whole collection. So you can kind of get a sense of what the fabric is like with how she shows it. So anyways, um, the Style Maker collections, they just, they really inspire me and they get my creativity going on top of the creativity that comes to me at this time of year. And it doesn't hurt that I had my colors done a couple years ago and I am some variation of an autumn depending on whatever um, system you use for that. I can use all of the colors to match me. So anyways, for the last two years, I've chosen a couple of different fabrics. I kind of buy a little collection um, and I did the same this year. The wandering bob and edit, if you will. So anyways, I went on their website, looked through the fall collection. I chose five different fabrics. It feels really inspiring to me to have sort of this coordinated group of fabrics together for one season. And so I'm gonna share that today with you. So first up, I bought this variegated rib sweater knit in pumpkin. I bought two yards of it, so it's probably gonna be a sweater. Anytime I see a rib knit, the um, Nico sweater just comes into my head, the Nico top. Um, for me, somehow, somehow it's the standard rib knit sweater. Um, but you guys let me know if you have any patterns that are really good for rib knits um, that you like because I'm open to ideas and you know I just can't have like a million Nico tops in my closet. That does not make sense. So. Yeah, it's a rayon polyester spandex. I just love the color. I think it's absolutely perfect for fall. You can't get any more fall than this. It's pretty classic. I also really like the variegated aspect to the fabric. I think it gives a lot of dimension and texture on top of the texture that it already has um, being a rib knit. So there's a lot of depth to it um, and I like that. I think it'll make a really nice sweater. Next up, I bought this rayon crepe in this diamond patchwork print. Um, it's in the color Rust. And now I have been a fan of the patchwork quilted trend for a while, but I've never really got around to making my own. So this is the next best thing. It's like pre printed with a patchwork like print. Um, this one really drew me in. The colors really drew me in. It's like very quintessentially fall, the orange, the rust, the beiges, the browns. Um, it's basically my favorite color palette and I think it's like very delightfully chaotic. Um, the pad there's patterns, there's prints, there's all kinds of things going on and there's kind of like a wholesome nostalgic aspect to patchwork patterns. Like I need to wear this to a country fair or like frolicking in a field of wheat or something. Um, I don't know. So anyways, I got three yards of this one. I thought it might actually be a very nice fall dress. Um, it is rayon crepe. So it's, you know, the fabric's really light. Um, but I think actually it would work really nicely as a layering piece um, as we go into winter, like with some brown boots or maybe like a camel or beige, like chunky knit. Um, actually, it might be really cute as a skirt with a chunky knit, kind of like what I'm wearing now. Like what if, what if that was happening? I love that. I was kind of thinking it might be a cute lol, lolia 
Lalja dress. I have no idea how to say it. It's by Named Patterns and it's basically the new version of the Kilo dress, but it's for a woven and the Kilo dress is for a knit. So they kind of, they redid it and made it so you could sew it in a, wo in a woven. So I think that's cool because I love the Kilo pattern, but I don't know. I feel like maybe it would be kind of busy, like with the big sides and then the wrap. Um, anyways, do I love working with rayon crepe? No, I find it really hard. I really don't like working with it. I find it so hard to keep track of the grain line without things shifting. It's all shifting. It's growing constantly, but this one might have a leg up on it because it has lines and squares. And so maybe you could follow the lines and squares and that would make things easier. So that's that. Next up, I got this diamond quilted double knit. This one is in the color terracotta. And this one is all about texture. I love the dimension that the quilted diamonds add to the fabric. I think it's definitely meant to be a sweater. Um, I could also see it as maybe like a sweater skirt set or like a sweater shorts set. That might be really cute. But yeah, sweaters. This is meant for sweaters. And I like the idea of using like a fairly simple sweater pattern, just like like your basic like raglan pullover or something, and then making it out of this fabric. Since it has this diamond texture, it adds kind of some visual interest and depth that the sweater otherwise wouldn't, and it would just be plain. So anyways, I think this would also make a nice dress, a sweater dress. I think that would be cute. Maybe like with a collar and a zipper, like a polo style sweater dress with a zipper at the neck. I don't know. Anyways, it's really soft. Um, it looks pretty comfortable. And yeah, good texture. I like the color, terracotta. Again, matches me. So I'm looking forward to making something out of it. The fourth fabric I got is this cotton jersey knit. It has this butterfly print. And the color is called avocado. And I just love this one. I'm not really a, a huge prints person, but I'm really drawn to this one. And I think butterflies can be, well, they can be very whimsical in general, but I think the colors of this one is what really makes it for me. Like the green background with the pinks and peaches and browns and grays. I think it kind of like levels it up. Like it's not a chaotic print. So I like that. Um, I also, I like the scale of the butterflies. I think that really works well. They're not too big, they're not too small. So anyways, I don't really have anything in mind for this one, um, but I did get two yards, so probably some type of top. Maybe a long sleeve top, something like that. Something with an interesting detail maybe. Um, I don't know, I'll have to think about it. Let me know if you have any good ideas for it. Last but not least, you can't have a fall fabric haul without some type of plaid flannel. So I got this cotton flannel. It's in rust and black. On the website, it looked really green. The black looked green, but I'm actually glad that it ended up being black because then you can wear black tights and I think it coordinates really well and everything looks nice. So for this one, I am seeing a flannel dress um, with black tights, of course. Um, in 2020, I made um, a hinterland dress out of a cotton flannel, and I love wearing that one. It's so comfortable, it's warm, it's cozy. Um, it's just a really good winter dress. So I wanna make another one, but maybe not the same pattern. I had quite a bit of trouble fitting the hinterland dress, so I'm not sure I wanna revisit it, but anyway, some kind of dress, maybe even one you can layer like a black turtleneck under, like that might be cute, or maybe one with just long sleeves or buttons down the front. Um, yeah, I guess I can't really see the hinterland dress in this one, but I think that's just because I've made it before, kind of like the Nico top, so I don't. I guess I have my creativity is limited, <laughs> but anyways, I don't want to make too many of the same type of dress. So I'm gonna have to think about it. I definitely want to be like loose fitting and something comfortable that I can wear um, through the winter until we finally get to the other side. It feels like forever from now, but it will happen. 
Um, if there's anything you can count on, it's that the sun will keep turning and the seasons will come around again until the sun blows up and then it won't anymore. But I don't think we need to worry about that right now. So yeah, it's getting deep for a fabric haul over here. <laughs> Anyways, so those are the five fabrics I chose from the Stylemaker Fabrics Fall Fabric Collection, my little edit, if you will. And I think they're all really, I think they all look really nice together with the colors and the textures. A plaid, a jersey, something quilted, a patchwork print, a rib knit. Let me see if I can put them all together for you. Um, so I'm sort of inspired actually to do a little like capsule collection with these five fabrics and make like a coordinating little set of garments like that would be really fun but I don't know if I'm gonna have that kind of level of organization this year um yeah so maybe another time but I'll probably just make them one at a time there we go so anyways, I hope you were inspired by the fabrics I chose. I know I am. And so that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.